Hello and welcome to this new DIY engineers video. In this video I'll be covering the Arduino CNC shield in detail. We'll be going over where the, each motor controller gets connected, the pins, and we'll even do a little bit of testing so that you can see how we can use the spindle enable and direction pins. Now let's talk about the Arduino CNC shield. The Arduino CNC shield basically allows you to easily connect up to four stepper motor drivers and four stepper motors to your Arduino project while connecting them to very specific pins in the Arduino Uno. Then, the GRBL software, which basically you use with your Arduino Uno, knows which pins each motor is connected to. So that way, you can use the gerbil software to control your stepper motors in a very seamless way. Now, what if you don't want to use gerbil? Technically, you could use the Arduino CNC shield without having to use gerbil. Say you simply want to go ahead and have a project with a few stepper motors and you don't necessarily want to use it for a CNC application, then you could you still use this device and you could control X, Y, Z axis, A axis, which are not necessarily have to be axis, by using this and referencing the correct pins on your Arduino Uno. Now, as you can see, the Arduino CNC shield has very specific locations for each axis on your CNC machine. There's also an A axis, which can be used to duplicate either the X, Y, or Z axis by using the appropriate pins, which we'll go over, or you could operate a fourth independent axis if you're not using GRBL by using pins D12 and D13. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the Arduino CNC shield pins. If you look at this image, you will see that each of the axes, so X, Y, Z, and A, have their own spot to connect their stepper motor driver, such as the A4988, and stepper motor wires. On each of these spots, you also see pins to define the stepper motor microstepping settings as shown here. You can also see the ground pins on the right. For details on the A49 stepper motor driver microstepping settings, please see my earlier video. Now on the left side, so over here, you can also see the pins to control the steps and directions of the X, Y, and Z axis. These are connected to the Arduino pins that are there if needed. But you shouldn't need to use this if you're using the shield and Arduino via gerbil, as the pins will, you know, as the outputs will come from the pins within the Arduino. Near the middle left, you also see pins that can be used to enable the A axis to mirror the X, Y, or Z, which are these. Note that when using gerbil, you can only use the A axis as mirror and cannot independently control a fourth axis. Without gerbil, you could simply use all axes through the Arduino pins, as, you know, the ones shown here, with a custom Arduino code. On the right, we have the pins for limit switches, which allow for both positive and negative end of the switches. And you also have pins to externally control the spindle, which you have the enable and the direction. Note that if you're running Gerbil 0.9, the pin for the spindle PWM control is D11, and D12 is the Z limit, so these are flipped on Gerbil 0.9. Whereas this board, the one I'm showing here, is intended to be used for 1.1. There are other pins such as D12 and D13 for external control of direction and step of the A axis. You also have these other pins for enabling the coolant, abort, hold, resume, e-stop, as well as reset, another ground pin, serial and I2C communication, and a 5 volt and 3.3 volt out pins. Now, as I said before, there are two basic ways to use the Arduino CNC shield. Either you're running Gerbil or you're using an Arduino with regular Arduino code on it and referencing the pins that I'm showing here. If you're running a regular Arduino code, you're simply using the Arduino shield to benefit from the fact that it's very condensed and you don't have a bunch of wires going all over the place. You could even control up to the four stepper motors all within this board without having to mirror, meaning independently controlled. If you're running Gerbil, basically you have to send commands externally from another device to the Arduino Uno, which tell the Arduino Uno what to do. So the Arduino Uno is running Gerbil and is waiting for the commands. The simplest and most common way of doing this is connecting a USB cable to the Arduino Uno and sending the commands from a computer running the software, such as Universal G Code Sender. Now I'm going to use Universal G-Code Sender to send G-Code commands to our CNC shield to demonstrate the output on the spindle on pin and the direction pin when I send M3 and M4 and M5 commands to the CNC shield. 
For background, M3 is the spindle on clockwise command. N4 is the same thing except counterclockwise and M5 basically stops it. For M3 and M4, we have to send M3 along with the speed at which we want to rotate. And the output will be between zero and five volts where the input goes from S0 to S1000. Here we have a multimeter that's going to read the output of the PWM spindle pin on the CNC shield. And we're going to see what happens when I send an M3 command followed by S500. That gives us an output close to 2.5 volts. If I do M3, S1000, that's close to 5 volts. If I do M5, it turns off. If I do M4, S500, again, we get close to 2.5. And if I do M4, S1000, again, almost 5 volts. And if I do M5, 0 volts. So now I'm going to go ahead and take the measurements off of the direction pin so that you can see the output differences when I do M3 or an M4. So now we are on the other pin, the direction pin, and we're measuring close to 5 volts. That's because the last command we ran was M4. So if I do M3, S100, we get 0 volts. If I do M4, S1000, we get five volts. If I do M4 as zero, we still get the five volts. If I do M4 as 500, again, still five volts. M3 as 500, zero. If I do M5, zero. If I do M4 as 1000, it's five volts. And if I do M5, it stays in the five volts because the last I sent was the M4 and M5 turns off the spindle, which would mean that the voltage on the PWM spindle output is zero volts, but the direction is still set to the last, which was M4. This concludes this video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much and see you in the next one. Bye.